If you are an artist and you're interested in a once in a lifetime opportunity, listen up. I think some ears just perked up. <laughs> Not only do you get free housing and a studio to work in, but your work will be featured in the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. Sounds like a good deal. <laughs> Nabil Ramanda is checking this out, explaining what's going on here. Good morning, Nabil. Good morning. Yeah, not a bad deal at all. You can take a look. This is actually Don Kim's work here. You can see some of the things that have inspired her out here at the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. You can see some of the plants that she's put up. And this is just one of the three pieces that she actually has out here. You can take a look under this gazebo here. Uh, pretty impressive work that she's put on. Now, this is part of the St. Elmo Arts Residency and Fellowship that started in 2018. And each year they choose a new artist to take on this unique experience. Now, artists from around the nation submit their portfolios of work for a chance to showcase their work in a solo exhibition at the Wildflower Center. And this fellowship is put on by the University of Texas Department of Art and Art History and the Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center. Now, as mentioned, the artist who is picked will receive a $30,000 stipend and also live rent free in the St. Elmo District of South Austin with their own studio. Now, this is a nine and a half month commitment and the person who earns the fellowship will have to teach one class per semester at the university and put on a workshop each semester at the Wildflower Center. Organizers say this is a great way to jumpstart a career. Through this fellowship we're able to really take advantage of a new artist who's just starting um, you know their professional practice a lot of times and um, give them some space, both literally and figuratively. Like we get applications all across the country. And so one of the great privileges from our end is that we get to see all of these like top applicants like all across the country. And never a bad morning when you get to take in some art out here at the Wildflower Center. You can see, again, she was inspired by a lot of pieces. If you take a look in here close, you can see some of the plants that she put down uh, very impressive work that she's put on it. And this is out here at the Wildflower Center for people to take in. Now we've put a list of the requirements and duties for that fellowship on our website, kxan.com. Go ahead and check it out, but definitely a unique experience for these artists. Guys, back to you. For sure. Can people apply if they live in Austin though? I mean, I know from around the country, but there's lots of Austin artists here. Yeah. Well, you have to have a master's in fine arts, of course, oh. but most of the people who do apply are from around the country. Um, she was saying that UC Riverside, Yale, so uh, certainly they are taking wow. people from, from all over. Um, but you, you can't go to UT, I believe, so okay. we've got the requirements though, on our website. So All right, okay. very cool. KXAN.com. They'll give local preference to I those know. Austin natives. Are you artistic, Sally? Not one bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not like Kristen level. Kristen is like... Oh, yeah. Ooh, has her own craft room. Craft queen level. around here. <laughs>